Good afternoon everyone. Today we're gonna see how to attach a weapon to your character like you can see uh, on the screen at this time. So you can see the character is holding a weapon in his hand. So to do this, it's simple, but you're gonna need to uh, pack here on the marketplace. Uh, it's optional, but it's just gonna make it a little bit easier to follow for that tutorial. So the first pack I'm gonna use here on the marketplace, it's gonna be the FPS weapon bundle. So that gives you access to, uh, for free, all those weapons. If you have your own weapon, that's perfectly fine too. Uh, there's no issue with that. After that, I'm going to use the animation starter pack that you can see here. Just to get some nice animation from the start. So we won't have to configure any animation. We're just going to use this. It's going to be quick, nice, and easy, obviously. So... What I'm going to do now, I'm just going to stop that project and jump to the other one so I can show you exactly how to do that. So to do this, uh, first thing that you have to do when you have downloaded the animation starter pack and the FPS bundle weapon. Here on the world setting, we're going to change the default pound to the animation starter pack. So to do this, uh, it's on game mode and you're going to select game mode and you're going to go down here and take the UE4 ESP character and when it's done you're gonna have this one when you spawn in the wall here um, so at this time we're gonna need to go to the mesh of that character so you can click here on the browse icon it's gonna bring you to that page here with all the animation you go down to the bottom and you have the blueprint for your character so you go jump in that, you go to the viewport, and we're going to attach a static mesh under the mesh of your character. So to do so, we're going to click add, and just select here the static mesh, and I'm just going to rename this weapon, like so. Uh, make sure that your weapon is under your mesh character. It's really important, otherwise it's not going to work well. Uh, I'm going to compile that information. Uh, disregard the little error here. It's just that some function here in the event uh, graph or not adjust for this character, but it's not important for this tutorial. Um, so after that, that you have this, make sure you click on the mesh here, and we're gonna click here on the browse icon next to the skeleton mesh to access the skeleton of that character. So you click on the browse icon. It's gonna bring you here. We're gonna open this one here. So when it's open, you're gonna be welcome with a page like this. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna change the preview animation to idle, and I'm gonna select the idle rifle iron sight. So just to get a nice position when I'm gonna put the weapon in his hand. So to stop the animation, just drag here on the red, and it's going to stop the animation. We're going to look for N and we're going to select the right hand here. We're going to right click on that, add a socket, and I'm just going to rename that socket weapon underscore socket. And I'm just going to make it like this. I'm going to select the socket, I'm going to click on it, and I'm going to add a preview asset. So I'm going to search for SM underscore AR and I'm going to take the first weapon here. There you go. The weapon is in his hand. However, it's not pointing to the good direction. So we're going to fix that. Uh, you may have lose your weapon here. So just click on the X here and search for weapon and you should have your weapon socket back again. Click on this and we're just going to rotate that weapon on his hand so to rotate you can use that little uh, arrows here and you're going to be able to rotate the weapon in his hand when you click space it's just jumping to the next one so i'm going to press again and adjust the weapon in his hand just to make it a little bit better there you go like this it's fine for me um, so the weapon is pointing in a good direction, which is great. It's perfect. So we're just going to save that. Just be 
uh, take a note that this is only a preview. So if you go back to your character, you will have no weapon in your hand. Okay, it's really important to see the difference between the two. So here back to your character, we're going to go back to the viewport, select weapon. And in weapon here, we're going to click on the socket option here. You have parent socket. So you click on the browse icon and you should be able to find uh, your socket that you just created. So I created the weapon socket. So search for the name that you gave to your uh, socket. And when it's done, you're going to see it's selected here. The only thing we have to do now, it's selecting the mesh that we use in the preview. So I'm going to click on none here. I'm going to search for SM underscore AR. And it's the first one here. Click on this and the weapon is in his hand. So that's pretty good. You compile and that's pretty much what we had to do to have the weapon in his hand. So if you click play, you're going to be back to this page here and you will be able to see that he has the weapon in his hand as you can see right so i'm just going to click play here and f8 just to be able to move around and as you can see the weapon is in the hand of your character so that was pretty much what i wanted to see you uh, to show you guys so hopefully uh it was easy for you and a uh, good chance to your uh next project and if you can add that to your project that's really good so i'll see you on the next one see ya